Hello YouTube, this is Williams Labs in HD. It is clear to see that YouTube has been developing a niche when it comes to budget gaming. Seeing that not everybody is a Saudi millionaire, budget gaming has become more and more popular as more people try to enter the PC community while not spending a bargain. Today we're going to look at a GPU that I bought off eBay for $30 and see how it stacks up to budget gaming. This GPU is the ATI Radeon HD 3870x2. It was released by ATI in 2008 as the fastest GPU at the time. This GPU is actually a dual GPU, meaning that it has two chips on it, on its PCB. These chips are two 3870s. The difference when compared to two HD 3870s in Crossfire is that on this card it has the two chips but instead of DDR4 RAM they are each running 512 megabytes of GDR3 RAM. They are also underclocked in order to reach the correct amount of wattage as created by the connectors. This card does have 1 gigabyte of VRAM, but since it is a dual GPU card, that means that each GPU has 512 megabytes of VRAM. Therefore, the whole entire GPU is limited by 512 megabytes of VRAM because both GPUs have to work in tandem and use each individual 512 megabytes in Crossfire, which translates to only 512 megabytes available. This memory is GDR DDR3 and is running on a 256 bit memory bus. This card was manufactured on a 55 nanometer process meaning that it will be hotter than most modern day cards and run less efficiently but it is not anything that is too outdated at this time. This card has 640 total shader processors which means that 320 are each chip so this essentially doubles to the du dual GPU card. It also has a total of 32 texture units which also is a double with 16 on each card but doubles when in crossfire. This card runs DirectX 10.1 which means that it will not be running DirectX 11 titles that are exclusively DirectX 11. This will be a major factor in deciding on whether or not to get this card and is a major uh, factor in what games we can benchmark on it. Now you should be able to get this card for $30 including shipping. It would be a decent card for a budget build as long as you're only running esports or older games. Now on the benchmarks today I'm running all games at 1080p at medium settings. We are running CSGO, Skyrim, and Half-Life 2. Now I want to make clear that this card is running in Crossfire and some games do not utilize that. This is seen in the Half-Life 2 and will show in the results of Half-Life 2 as they are not as great as the other games. Now let's go to the benchmarks.
Examining the benchmarks, it is clear to see that for the price, you are getting decent performance. I hope this information has helped you. Thank you for watching.